Three, listening. A. Discuss. Have you ever lived abroad? Abroad, in a foreign country, a country that is not yours. To answer about myself, no, I have never lived abroad, and this fact is surprising to many people. They ask me, how come that you speak English this well? without ever being to a foreign country? And the answer is simple. Nothing is impossible if you work hard, if you are determined. How much do you really want to learn English? If you really want that to happen, you will make it happen, whether you traveled abroad or not. Would you like to live abroad? If you say yes, why? If you say no, why not? Yes, I'd love to live abroad for some time. Why? That would help me broaden my mind. That would help me increase my experience and knowledge. B. Listen to three people talking about living in a foreign country. Foreign country, country that is not yours. Match the people with the statements A to D. There is one extra statement which you do not need to use. Three people, Ryan, Jake, this is not Jack, no, Jake, and Phil. Four statements, one of them will not be used. Maybe we will not use A, B, C, or D. Read the statements with me. Who has improved his Spanish a lot? He made his Spanish language better. Spanish is a language. Recently, not long ago. B. Who took a course? Who took classes to learn Spanish? But it didn't help. It was a waste of time. C. Who wants to improve his Spanish to make his job easier? D. Who is living in Spain to learn the language? Now listen to the recording. Brian. My brother and I have been here for a month now, but the only things I can say in Spanish are everyday expressions like thank you and good morning. Sometimes I feel stupid. People talk to me and I just look at them. Luckily, my brother speaks Spanish very well and he helps. But I can't go anywhere without him. I haven't managed to learn much, so I've decided to take a course. I want to speak Spanish well when I leave and go back home. I mean, that's why I'm here, right? Jake. I've been here since last September. The first few months were very hard for me. I found it difficult to understand the professors, and I didn't speak to my classmates because I was afraid of making mistakes. My flatmate, Thomas, had the same problem, and we decided to take a course to improve our Spanish. It was a great idea, because I've already improved so much that I can read newspapers and books, and I almost never have problems at the university. Phil. It's an amazing experience. I've been abroad before, but only on holiday. I like the people a lot, and I enjoy working as a teacher. But I sometimes have problems with the language. I'm okay when I go out, because I can always find someone who speaks English. But I sometimes have problems at work. Not with my colleagues, they speak English. But when students don't understand something, I can't explain it in their own language. I wanted to take a language course back home, but I didn't, and now I don't have time. Now, can you match the people with the statements? If yes, very good. No, listen to the recording again. There is no reason why you should continue unless you want to check and see if your answers are correct or incorrect. Read the listening transcript with me, Ryan. My brother and I have been here for a month now in Spain. But the only things I can say in Spanish are everyday expressions. Expressions are a group of words that together have a particular meaning. Expressions like what? 
like thank you. In Spanish, they say gracias and good morning. In Spanish, they say buenos dias. Sometimes I feel stupid because I can't say much, only thank you and good morning. People talk to me and I just look at them. I can't reply. Luckily, fortunately, my brother speaks Spanish very well. He's very good and he helps. But I can't go anywhere without him. He has to come with me anywhere I go. I haven't managed to learn much. I wasn't able to learn much. So I've decided I've made a choice to take a course, classes. I want to speak Spanish well, in a good way. When I leave and go back home, because he is in Spain now, when he goes back to his home country, maybe he is Saudi or maybe he is British or American, we don't know. I mean, that's why I'm here. I came to Spain to learn Spanish, right? Is Ryan the one who has improved his Spanish? No, his Spanish is terrible. Is he the one who took a course? No, he will take a course. Is he the one who wants to improve his Spanish to make his job easier? Well, he said nothing about his job. So he is the one living in Spain to learn the language. That's why he is in Spain, right? Jake, I've been here since last September. The first few months were very hard for me, very difficult. I found it difficult to understand. Found is the past to find. I wasn't able to understand the professors easily. Professors, teachers at universities. And I didn't speak to my classmates because I was afraid of making mistakes. Classmates, students in my class. Why I didn't speak to them? Because I was afraid, I was scared of making mistakes, of saying wrong things. My flatmate, the one who lives with me in the same apartment, Thomas, his name, had the same problem and we decided to take a course to improve our Spanish. It was a great idea, that was good thinking because I've already improved so much. I am much better now. I can understand Spanish now, that I can read newspapers and books, and I almost, I nearly, never have problems at the university. University is where you study after high school. So this one, Jake, is the one who has improved his English. He is now much better. Phil, it's an amazing experience. Experience, knowledge that you gain about life. I've been abroad before. This is not my first time, but only on holiday. Now I'm in Spain, but I'm not on holiday. I'm working. I like the people a lot and I enjoy working as a teacher. He is the teacher. But I sometimes have problems with the language. I don't understand Spanish a lot. I'm okay when I go out because I can always find someone who speaks English. But the problem is, I sometimes have problems at work. Not with my colleagues, people who work with me, other teachers, they speak English like me, but when students don't understand something, I can't explain it in their own language. Oh, from this we understand that Phil speaks English as the first language and he is teaching English to Spanish students. And when they don't understand English, he can't explain English in Spanish. I wanted to take a language course back home when he was in Britain or America, but I didn't. And now I am in Spain and I don't have time for courses. 
He wants to improve his Spanish to make his job easier as an English teacher. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, share it with friends. I'll see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye. Thank you.